guys. So today I'm going to be sharing with you a recipe for strawberry bread. And um, if you watched my Day in the Life videos, you've seen me make it, but um, that was the first time I was trying it out, so I wasn't sure... Oh, I wasn't sure if I liked the recipe and wanted to share it with y'all, but I did. It was actually really good and it was something very different than anything I've ever had before. So I thought I would go ahead and make a video on it. So yeah, I am just getting up the link so that I can link it for you guys. And let's go ahead and get going. For this recipe, you will need some vegetable oil, baking soda, a couple of eggs, of course you need strawberries, sugar, flour, salt, and cinnamon. All right, the first thing that I'm going to do is slice up one cup of strawberries and I'm just gonna slice them really finely so you don't have, you know, giant chunks of strawberries. Here my cup of strawberries and I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of sugar on it. And stir all of this together. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and set my strawberries aside while I go ahead and make the batter. For the batter, we will need a cup and a half of flour. one cup of sugar, next we're going to add one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon. And about half a teaspoon of salt. Now I'm just going to stir this mixture together. And set it aside. I just forgot one thing the dry ingredients. We're also going to add half a teaspoon of baking soda. And mix that in as well. Next, we're going to blend the strawberries with the wet ingredients. So in a small bowl, we're just going to put all of our strawberries. And to this, I'm going to add half a cup of vegetable oil. And two eggs. I'm just going to mix all of this together. Next, I'm just going to pour my strawberry mixture into my dry ingredients. And I'm just going to mix this together just until it's um, all moistened. So I just poured the batter into a lined and greased loaf pan and I'm just going to stick it at, in a 350 degree oven for about 45 minutes. Here is this finished strawberry bread. It was, I put it in about another eight minutes after 45 minutes, just because it wasn't fully cooked, but it looks good now. So yeah, I'm gonna let it cool for a little bit and then I'm gonna try it out. So this is what the completed cake looks like. As you see, there's little bits of strawberry in it and the rest is just really cinnamon cinnamony and delicious. 
So yeah, I'm gonna have a piece and it's really good. I definitely suggest trying this recipe out and the link is below. Thanks for watching.